Ever since I got my maiden, the Wilson has been feeling a bit left out. Wilson! But I don't like Willie feeling left out because I genuinely love the bike. So as an apology, I'll be treating Wilson to a new rear shock and some new tires. EXT Racing Shocks sent me their Arma V3 shock so I could try it out on my Wilson. Big thanks to you guys, and what's awesome about this shock is all the adjustments that you've got. There's rebound, high and low speed compression, and also a bottom out control. This will be replacing my Fox Van R. Some of you may remember a few years ago when I bought this shock, I literally paid 50 bucks for it, but I've always been intending on upgrading the rear shock. Now, here's my chance. The EXT is even half a pound lighter, which is pretty nice. One other random thing I did here is I actually swapped the Hope rotor on the front with a SRAM rotor. That may seem like a strange decision, but after riding that Hope brake I had on the front for my Wilson for a while, I noticed it would make a chirping sound. Okay. Sick. When it comes to making mountain bike videos, it's really nice to have a quiet bike, so I'm just really curious to see if this rotor will make a difference. I took this setup on a test ride a couple months ago because I need to make sure the spring EXT gave me was stiff enough. See, they sent me a 250 pound coil, which sounds really light to me, but it actually gives me that 35% sag for my 170 pound body weight. But you know what? I do prefer a bit of a stiffer coil. So after that ride, I did ask them for a 300 pound coil. They sent one to me right away. So thank you EXT. And that's what we're gonna try out today. And then I decided to try out some Michelin DH34 tires. The reason why I chose these is because, I mean, they're a brand new 26 inch tire that's being put out on the market, which sounds pretty awesome to me. I also put back on my Alex Rim Supra D front wheel. I did ride this rim in the past. I actually have a few front wheels for this bike, honestly. These tires are 2.4 inches wide, and when I first put them on, I thought they were a bit skinnier than I was expecting, but I ended up realizing it's directly related to the rim width that the tires are on. So these Alex rims are only 25 mil internal width compared to the 30 millimeter internal width of my enduro bike with the 2.4 Michelins, those are the proper width. So that's good to know that your rim width can really affect how fat your tire is. I just didn't realize it would make that much of a difference. Now these upgrades didn't really change the overall weight at all. 39.8 pounds is about what this bike has always been. We okay? But enough talking about my bike, let's head out to a local shuttle spot called Vetter Mountain. My bros Wesley and Josh are here, as well as our friend Rob and his son as well. I snapped my visor again at air wreck. What? Yeah, and I, I wasn't able to duct tape it in time for today. Uh, so it's okay, to, like, <laughs> just look like a squid, that's all good. It's terrible. But... We've got a beautiful frozen day today, and let's see how the tires and the shock feel. This first run is just filled with some sweet, flowier, chill trails that are great for warming up. But after we're all warmed up, we're going to be riding the gnarliest DH trail on the mountain. <laughs> Don't hit the bars. I love these conditions. How was that, Josh? Awesome. Yeah. My face is cold. I know. Oh, nice berm. Woo! Yeah, okay. A few little icy spots here. That's all right. Yeah, buddy. Whew. Super cool. Yeah, man. Okay, this next trail is a really cool one. It's called Dilemma, and there's a good bit of variety on it, like some big jumps, and at the end, it gets really spicy. Whoa! Felt like I hit my crank or something. 
Okay, let's see if I can do this. Yo, got some more riders coming. Hmm. Haven't ridden this in a while. Remember I like overshot the crap out of this like a couple years ago with you? Yeah, we landed pretty deaf. Oh, sh it almost looks like it's longer now. I don't know, might be wrong. Are we just gonna like all train it? Drop it! Whoa, <laughs> I kinda cased it. I, I cased it a bit there. Uh, I cleared it just perfect. Nice. So coming down the trail just a little bit more, we've got this huge booter jump. It's all built up good. Now this is also something I've not ridden in many years. Well, it was so stressful. Yeah, last time I was here it looked terrible. This looks better. My berm is like built up. Actually, it might even have been over 10 years since I last hit it. Oh boy, man! Not many people ride this jump, so the lip and the landing has never really looked very good for a long time. But it's obvious that the lip has gotten some good work done recently. Oh man, <laughs> what a terrible landing. But it's like hard because it's frozen though. Solid, yeah. yeah. Well, what do you say we do some run ups? All right, let's go, Josh. There's a lot of speed for sure. Go for it. I don't know. Honestly, I am just being a bit more cautious with my riding right now. It's just not worth hurting myself. Do you want to hit it? It's not gonna feel like it. Yeah? Sick man. Josh is feeling up for the task. Yo. Yo. What Dude. the f He just cased it. Where are you hiding your horseshoes? Ah, uh, you know. Holy crap. Dude. <laughs> hey, let right, me. Right there. Wow. What, here? Right there. Oh, that is sketchy. Oh, I just know he hit the wood. Did you break into it? Uh, I wouldn't, I actually think I wouldn't break that, but yeah, I broke a bit. Okay. Hmm. Wow. I, I break. Because yeah, two, you, you should have gone two, farther. So break <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my Dude. god. Nice. Sick. That's the Strava dude. Whoa, okay. Bro. What is going on? <laughs> What's going on? You're alive. That never happens. He just smashed the wood. What? Hey, what the heck? So what, you didn't or did break? I did a little break, but so I, you shouldn't I, I, I was like before, the lift used to be more kicky. So yeah, I think so. You didn't need so much speed? Yeah, I think Whoa. that's true. <laughs> the boys wanted to go back up for a little redemption. There you go. Perfect. Nice. So good. That was good. That was really good. How'd that feel? Way better than last time. Although I kind of like nutted myself on that dip. Oh yeah, that's Dude, the that, weird I thing. Did the same that's the thing. <laughs> Well, I think my bike is feeling really solid now. Also, my brakes didn't chirp and squeak. Did you notice that? I'm pretty happy with that too. Oh. Tires are feeling good, especially that combo of fresh rubber on frozen dirt. <laughs> it actually sounds so cool. My shock is feeling really good as well. I don't really notice it, which I think is a good thing. All my adjustments are a bit more in that middle position, so I got a little bit of room to play around yet. Except for the rebound, I do have to say I have it set in the fastest position. I guess that would be the only issue for me is the rebound does seem a bit slow, even set to the fastest setting, and it's not quite as fast as I'd prefer. But I think you should be able to adjust that within the internals if I were to rebuild it or something. Are any of you guys familiar with these shocks? Because I'd love to know. This is where the fun begins. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> oh, whoops. It's 
like dry and like loose, but kind of it catches you. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So for the next run, we wanted to ride the gnarliest trail on the mountain. It's called Black Forest Ham. But before we start that trail, we actually went a little bit higher on the mountain to a trail called Hide and Seek. Yeah, this trail is cool because like it does not get much traffic. It's nice and like lonely. And it will lead us right into it. We're gonna ride a little bit of hide and seek here. Whoa! Frozen loam is kind of different. Black Forest Ham. This one's gonna be sick. One more, you gotta get everybody. Fist bumps are very important, in case you didn't notice. Black Forest Ham. <laughs> this is one of the only trails on the mountain where you can really ride better with the DH bike. You can totally ride this on an enduro bike as well. I did race it on one two years ago, but with the DH bike, you can really let loose. Yo! Woo. Whoa! It's, uh, <laughs> that works. Sweet. All right. Right on. That was a little faster than I'd like. Yeah. How, how was that? I was going down a steep like this. Like, oh. oh, that's sketchy. So this thing's always fun. Oh, yeah. Kind of like goes flat almost, right? Yeah. This is like a kid by All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Crap. No. Are you kidding me? Dude, I almost did it. Yeah. That was sketchy, man. Yeah, this part in the icy wet is a little bit gnarly. All right, the battery just died on my GoPro, so I had to swap that out. And uh, let's catch up to the other boys. Whoa, that is so gnarly, dude. Oh, that's what I did, shoot. When I crashed, I <laughs> busted that uh, fender there, whoops. Ooh, that bridge got reworked. You built that bridge, it's different. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just realized I broke my fender thing or some of these uh, oh my from my when I bailed back there. Uh, I might have a zip tie, just hold on. Yes! Nice, thank you. Perfect. This part's fun. Is it to the left here? Sorry, it's right here. Where? It's right here. Oh, okay, cool. Got a little squirrely in there. Normally we don't do this, but at this point of the trail, we're actually crossing over to Mexican Ninja. It's a really flowy and fun trail. Yeah, we made this first, and then the guys kind of built stuff over it. Yeah. We built this trail, oh, must be four years ago. Maybe? There okay. is a new line. You go over this hump, you put dirt on this log that fell over the crossfire thing there's a, like a drop just a Woo. <sighs> I 
Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I see something cool here. Yeah, this is what Chad built hastily really quick. It's oh, just yeah, a fine. straight up drop. <laughs> That's so funny. Down right on the dirt. Dirt's so sick. Yeah, that was so really fun, dude. Yeah, yeah man. Kind of blind it. it was yeah. cool, though. Cool. That was fun. That's That'd Chad's be fun. new line he made on the left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. Do you want to go look? <laughs> on the Maybe left? Oh, it's been on the trail. Oh, oh, dang it. Wes. An idiot. Sweet. Oh, Josh just sends it. Oh, it was chill, man. Okay, let's uh, try it out. Fun stuff. Yeah. That's where you guys want to go. Good. Electric right. lettuce is always good. All right, electric lettuce. Here we go. Oh, dude, these brims are mint. Oh, I should have gone for that. <laughs> right on. So coming up here is the coolest skinny feature that this mountain has to offer. It's pretty doable, but there's this one corner on it that has always been tricky for me. Didn't make it. Oh, you all right? Yeah. I was doing pretty good otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Perfect. Yes. There we go, see? You know what? I've always had trouble with that corner. I may have done it once or twice before, but now, even with the DH bike, I'm actually feeling really good with the endo turn. I'm pretty stoked. I do. I don't see it happening. <laughs> <laughs> but now I want to link up the whole skinny line. No mistakes this time. Yes, that was like the best I've ever done it. You just blur out the net. These trails are so much fun and riding them frozen is pretty awesome too. And I don't know if you guys rode frozen trails before, but it's pretty fun. So my Wilson is feeling really great and I'm really loving these Michelin tires, but I'm going to want to put them on some wider rims if I can. I really like to keep my tires as fat as they should be. And my new shock from EXT is also feeling really good as I said. 
but I do wonder if I can get it rebuilt and just get the rebound setting a little bit faster. That would be pretty nice. Thank you to all of you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really glad to be back to making videos again. I intend on being back at my weekly upload schedule like I used to, and I hope you guys are stoked for this year because I'm really excited. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, it'll help out my channel. Also, check out my Patreon page. My patrons are amazing sponsors of my channel. Thank you guys, see you next time. One last shuttle.